Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 13th of April. So this particular chart, this daily chart here for the S&P 500, I've been counting it up uh, in the conservative manner from the March lows here as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then counting up uh, through here and uh, we're close to coming to a top in this particular space here. But I know that looking at um, Amazon and Tesla and a few other stocks that w this can't be the top of the market here. So um, we need to look at a bigger picture and we've been looking at bigger pictures and this would probably be the, uh, the bigger picture count uh, here for this. So it still gives us the same top that we're looking at here. So when um, when we when we get this top uh, here, which has been which we've been tracking on the intraday count, um, we'll just see. We'll see um, if we can identify the move down here as being corrective. Well, then we'll know that it's a wave four and it will pull down roughly to the 38.2%, the 3800 uh, uh, here. And then this wave five here will be roughly the same size as wave one because the extension will be in wave three here. So we'll be looking up close to four, eight to five uh, thousand uh, with this market. So all I can do is continue to track the market going up through here and then, uh, you know, close off positions and so on right on the on the top here and then we will look for uh, this move down here and this move down here will just be open-minded about it and we'll just gather the evidence along the uh, journey and we'll be able to decipher what we've got but as soon as we can note that it's corrective well then we'll know that we'll be pushing up and that would also be in line with stock at that at this stage as well so uh, yeah. So with that in mind, we'll just go back to the, we'll go into the intraday count and we'll just start working to the upside. So, um, <clears throat> so working up through here, this would be the top here that we'd be looking at. So we'll be close to 4,300. So we've still got time to go um, and we'll discuss things uh, further. But uh, as far as the crow flies, we're looking at wave one here and two here. And we're coming up for wave three. We'll look for wave four, which will be a 38.2% retracement level of wave two to three here. And then we'll look for wave five to the upside. And hopefully that finishes uh, nicely in, in a nice five wave structure here without uh, any problems. Uh, and we'll see how the other markets fit into that as well, uh, the other indices. So let's just drill in here a little bit uh, further. I th I'll go to the tick chart here. One of the things was that, um, as I've been talking about all week here, counting this move up here is, is fine. Um, but I just found wave four to be a little bit small, but I sort of double checked it on the cash market and the cash and the, 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 uh, the count seems to be fine um, because I had an alternative count where we have this wave three here sitting in over here for that and will take us a little bit higher and that will be on this one hour chart here as we have been talking about last week and this week. So from this wave one and two here, looking at it one and two here, and then one and two and three and four and five for the third wave here, a fourth wave, and then the fifth wave coming into play. So uh, got a little bit further to uh, move up here for this. I don't think we need to worry about this just yet this count because really we need to um you know line it up with the nasdaq as as well um and the nasdaq sort of fits in better with the other count so i don't think this is the case here so we don't have to worry about it too much but we'll just keep it in the backdrop a little bit but um let's just go to the tick chart and pick it up based on the same count as the <coughs> as the um four hour chart so a little bit messy but uh we've got we've got our wave two here right and we're going up to our wave three here and once that's completed we're pulling back to wave four here that can pull back to the 38.2 percent retracement level here or the wave four of one lesser degree which would be this one here 
So going from wave two to wave three here, we're looking at five waves. So a little bit crowded in here, but wave one and two here for this, and then wave three here and wave four here. And then going, we've been counting up for wave five here, a little bit rough on the futures and CFD and whatnot here, but um, yeah, I was looking at it as one and two here, then one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, the fourth wave, and then one and two and three and four here, and then going up for the fifth wave here. So we're very close to uh, a top uh, in this uh, in this instance here. So um, I know we've got trades on here, so you need to decide if you're going to, this could probably, I'm a little bit unsure about this little move in here. Couldn't quite get my head around it um, as such. This wave four could sit over here to this and we could end up with uh, one and two and three and four and five coming into this space here before we have a top there. So I'm not quite sure about this. This wave four could certainly go over to this space here. <clears throat> But it just seems too, too big, you know, for, for that. So anyway, a little bit of a problem there. But um, I think one of the things that you could do is that you could just bring your stop way up into this level here if you wanted to, uh, and then just keep bringing it up under each low until you're, until you're taken out at that point. But let's just go back to, um, let's just pull this back in here. I'll just check on the hourly chart, even though it's a different count. This is where we've got our <clears throat> most of our trades in through here. So the question has been that, um, I thought we took profit somewhere in here or here for this or on this level, um, or part profit or percentage or something. So the question is, is, is what, whatever happens in here, do you hold through this wave for here for for that? If you haven't taken a percentage here, I thought that we did at close to that level there, but um, maybe I deleted it unconsciously. But um, I'll just put it in here because you need to start thinking about about the situation. Are you going to hold through that? Because if you're going to hold through that, that means that wherever the top is here, we need to from this low here to wherever that top comes in here, you'll need to look at the 38.2% retracement level. It will probably just come to the wave four at this point here, but um, yeah, we still you want to leave the stop under this one here. So so taking a chunk off here, you may want to take, it just depends on who, you know, what your plan is really, but it's okay to take profit uh, in here as well. But but also too, you know, a smaller trailing stop under under the current lows here is also a good idea as well, because the trading stop is the best stop, isn't it? Because I mean, after all, the market is trending up, and you really need to be going with that. So um, yeah, just just continue. You could put like as I mentioned, you can put like a little stop uh, just in here somewhere for that. And there will be a bit of a dance um, at the top of group one as well. So you could just wait out for that, not put that there and just see how that plays out because normally you have the arrival and the re reaction, which we've got here, we've had the arrival and the reaction, then we'll look for the first high above the level. But this is the point where it could fail here and, and just come straight down from here. So, um, but still, um, I could just keep building at that point. So normally what I find is that when the market's been, tra this is 4,100, it's a minor level, right? It's part of minor group one, but then we've got subgroup one, which is one, two, and three here. Once the market's been trading above two and trading up here somewhere, if it comes back and finds this is a retested resistance here, the number two, then you know that um, <clears throat> you need the first low below the level. And then if that's breached, then you know the market's going to be pulled to the closest, largest number at that point. If it's going to be pulled to here, then obviously it's going to be, uh, it can <clears throat> move lower at that point as well to wherever the, it's supposed to be going to at that point. But the trick here is the number two. So if the number two becomes the retested resistance, then you know that, well, the trend to this, trend to the upside is finished at that point. <clears throat> Okay, so let's have a look at 
the the rustle which as i mentioned before i'm not quite sure what's going on here with this so uh we had a long position here we still have that so i'm putting the stop under this bar here for that so if i go to the one hour chart where we'd sort of looked at this a little bit closer here um <clears throat> The move down here can be counted as five waves. This move here can be counted as three waves to the upside. Uh, this move down through here can be counted as one, two, three, four, five, correction, one, two, three, four, five here. So if we get one more low coming in here, then uh, that would give us, because currently we have, we could count, call it an A and a B and a C wave here, or we could call it one, two, three, four here, but four has overlapped wave one here, so that causes a bit of a problem. Uh, so we could look at this as an up for one here, an A and a B and a C wave here having this low. So I'm just gonna bring the stop up to get it as close as I can to this entry point at this stage here, and we'll just leave it at that. I don't know which way it's going to go at this point. Obviously that the S&P 500 and the NASI and stuff have got a little move up, but then they'll be heading down again at that point. So will this market follow that? I'm not quite sure, but we're going to get out of that trade because we don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. So the NASDAQ is uh, is all pretty simple. Um, still, we've just been churning through all of this. So wave three up here with uh, wave four here, with wave one and two here. And then we have this in line with the S&P uh, 500 as well so we're approaching these old highs over here so it's all going to get scrunched up in here we can't expect it to trend that much so just be mindful of that but at the same time we're looking for the top of wave five of three and then four and then moving up for wave five uh, here for this we wouldn't want to see this move back down and overlap the top of wave one here as well for that so we'll just keep an eye on that. The move up here is going reasonably well here. Um, we'll still see a little bit of a move up. It's got a really nice support now on the 13,800. Uh, here, as you can see, it's been snaking along there. We'll see a better view of that on the hourly chart. So once again here, the same... So we can expect a uh, continued move up in closer to the 14,000 uh, at this point. But the same thing goes as well is, are you going to take profit, all of it uh, at the 14,000 or put a stop under this current low just here? I'll just leave the stop out of the way here, take a percentage uh, closer to the 14 here for this. And then we'll just ride this out with leaving some skin in the game. And, uh, and then we'll see another push up there so the move up here should be roughly the same length as wave one here so that will give you a bit of an bit of an idea so you'd want to take at least 50 to 60 60 70 percent of it uh, over here and we'll um we'll move back in as well so this uh, this will obviously be a corrective pattern uh as an a wave at minimum uh, be at minimum it will be this it could be much complicated more complicated than this it could be a triangle could be uh expanded flat just a normal flat but it's going to be pinned down because of the old high over here for this so anyway that's sort of where we are uh this trend that we've been in here trend's got a, a beginning a middle and an end and we're into that uh ending process of wave three from two to three but we still have four and five to go here as well so the thing here to look at as well is that from this current low here to, I'll just put it on the 14,000, you can adjust it, but that will give you an idea of where the 38.2% retracement comes in at that point. But what we can also normally do as well is that, um, use the, trading level so we know that we've got 300 up here then 200 and 100 that all makes up group one and then below here we got group two here so we can see that the market snaked its way into group two here and 
when we're working with the 14,000 here, we can expect the market to swing in this range here. So that's what we'll be uh, looking for uh, in, in while this is going on here. So this is going to be time consuming uh, here. And if, so if you're not, not up for that, then take more at this point here or take all of it, do whatever you need to do. There'll be plenty of time to get back in on this degree of structure uh, here. Um, that's it for those guys. Let's look at some stocks. So, uh, Facebook, um, yeah, so let's just go into the tick chart to check on this. So much the same as the NASDAQ, I'm looking for um, one more move up through to here to call wave three in here and then back for wave uh, four here that can pull back to this wave four one less a degree <clears throat> and then wave five moving up into this space so that's how that's going to uh, play out uh, at that point so I'll put that to the side <clears throat> Amazon uh, let's go into the intraday here for this So wave one here with an ABC for wave two and then looking up here further into uh, into this. So this will be slightly different from uh, some of the other stocks, but um, kind of got to run with it a little bit. So wave one and two in here and well, looking at uh, one, two, three, four and five here for this. So we're coming quite close to a top here as well. So we could also um, probably expect okay so we'll be dancing at the 34 here for this wave five so we can probably expect some little move up through here and then some sort of abc pattern coming into here pulling back to the wave four one lesser degree here before moving to the upside here and um, I'm just going to leave the stops out of the way we've got uh, three positions in here we've taken a percentage at this point here because it was the 61.8 percent if it was going to fail that's where it was going to fail from so that's why i did that um, so we're pretty much sort of okay here for this so we'll just got to ride all of this out here that's what we're going to do but of course you can exit the trade up here if you wanted to and look to move back in once again we can look for the 38.2 percent retracement level from this low to that high to see where that pulls back but it'll be back into this space here in fact that trend line could be probably moved along a little bit over here that will play out there it will be a part of it as well um, so that's all pretty simple at that side and then alphabet now <clears throat> on this chart here we've got this as the low here okay but um the data i pay for in the trading levels charting program our charting program this is google here we can clearly see this is the low here for this so it makes me wonder <clears throat> it still could be way four here don't get me wrong um but we've got this low here so looking at what's going on in the other stocks uh as such um then i still think that we've got like a correction to come here for this and then we've got uh once that's in play still have another five waves up at uh up at that point like that so that's what i think is going on um and that if that's the if this is going to occur that means we need to look at wave four being here with a one and a two over here and consider this the third wave here and the fourth wave and the fifth wave here for that so that's um what i'm kind of doing here in terms of one and two and three and four and five here and that will put us in line with the nasdaq at that point as well i know that we've taken a um a percentage on that uh that bar in there or <clears throat> so uh that's all good we've got two positions here we've covered our costs on them we won't let we won't get stopped out i don't want to get stopped out on this so we're not going to worry about that too much but we need to look for a 38.2 percent retracement level on this one here so going on to the intraday here it will look a little bit like this for this
so um, yeah, just expecting another little push up from this point. Let me just get my head around this. I don't know if it's going to make it in time, actually. This still may be partly in here. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to leave the stop out of the way. This is <clears throat> this is the 38.2% retracement levels as it stands from this high here. So we need to keep the stop under this level here at this point. So I just think let's just let it do its let's let it do its thing here, and um, and uh, it will become a little bit clearer later on. Uh, Radio. So uh, Apple is the next one. So with Apple here, um, I mean, two minds. Um, it's possible to. Uh, it's possible first of all to have wave five sitting up here, and then have one and two and three and four and five here. Then an A and a B and a C wave here for this, and then come down for the C wave. So an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. And we've been working through all of this, as you know. Um, it's also possible to have this low here as a wave fourth coming into here. So this would make this here a bit like Amazon, really, an A wave here, an A, B and C wave up here, and then down for the for B. So an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here. Um, I think that we looked at that yesterday, did we, um, with Apple? Um, this is the dollar index while we're here as well, probably um, a little bit sort of helpful. So with the dollar index here, we're looking at obviously not wave three here at the moment, but um, an A, B, C for the A wave, the B wave here. And then we've been looking for five waves up here, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five here. So I'm thinking that we've got a top in place. It looks like we've got wave one down here now and looking for an A wave and a B wave and a C wave for wave two. So then we'll see further weakness on the dollar. But that's not really where I wanted to go to. I just wanted to have a look at um, Apple over here on this particular chart. I think I labelled it out yesterday. I think we did speak about this, didn't we? Yeah. So um, this was just another way to, to view it with wave three over here, an A wave here, an A and a B and a C wave here with five waves of one and two and three and four and five here for the B wave and down for the C wave here. The only problem with this is that um, this first move here wasn't um, in five waves. I suppose we could squeeze it in terms of wave one here and then an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here for that, like an expanded flat. Um, this is the 50-60% retracement level for, for this. Um, which comes in, uh, well, it doesn't matter too much, but also too, this is this block here is where the supply is here. So uh, that's, well, even from that low there really, well, it does encompass that. So anyway, that's where all the, so it's not really finite as such in that space there. But um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to point that out. We'll go to the tick chart here now and look at this move to the upside here. So, um, an A wave from the bottom and a B wave here, and then looking for the C wave up through here. So, I was, I've was i changed the count a little bit, but looking at one and two here, then one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and five here for the third wave, looking for the fourth wave and up for the fifth wave here. I don't know if we've got time to do that. I know we've got a trade in down here for that. Um, we're looking to take a percentage up here. Probably didn't get there high enough uh, to take that. Um, I'm just keeping the stop just under the 130 there. So uh, 126, that stop can go at. At this stage, just drop that a little bit. Oh, it's too far, isn't it? 128, 129, uh, 129.16 will be okay. Um, Yeah, it does look a bit impulsive and corrective there. So probably more down. I mean, we could have a top in play here. This, it's just, I couldn't quite get my head around it. <coughs> 
Well, I think we've got to move the stop out of the way because we still want that fifth wave there and we're going to get that with the NASDAQ as well. So we'll just bring this out of the way here and just give this another session. Let's just see what we've got here um, for this. 61.8% is still up at 134, so, but we're definitely in the zone here now for this. I mean, we could have a top in place here. Um, if anybody's done any work on this trend here, uh, send us a chart. Um, does look a bit bearish. I'll just wait it out. I'll just be a bit patient. I think we've got time. Yeah. And square in the same boat as well. We've got uh, looking at this as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here and then one and two here and then going up for three here and then we'll look for four and then five pushing up higher here for that. So on the tick chart. Okay, so from the low here, <clears throat> it's pretty clear that I got one, two, three, four, five here for one and two here. And then I've been conservative here with one and two and three and four here. And then it looks like we're getting the extension in the fifth wave of one and two and three and four and five here for that. <clears throat> so I might need to adjust that a little bit later. Um, one and two here, a little bit. So we've got one and two here, then one and two and three and four and five. So we've got that's got to come into play for one, two, three, four, five to that point, and then we'll have four, and then we'll have five here. So that will be that top playing out there, just say the 270. Um, we've taken money off the table, percentage off the table at 265, beginning of group two here, but um, that's okay. You can just push up there a little bit further. And then we'll be looking for wave three and wave four to come into play. I don't, I'm keeping the stop out of the way here. I don't want to get stopped out by this wave four. Um, I may have to adjust this. If after these five little waves here, if the market um, goes any, after that top comes into play here, if the market goes above that top here, then I'm going to readjust the, uh, the third wave here for this but I don't need to do that yet. I'll just keep it as conservative as possible. Um, yeah, um, so that's our plan. We've got to trade in here and here. We're keeping the stop out of the way. We're taking money off the table uh, up here. We're going to wait for this correction to play out here, and then we're going to move back in uh, with this and trade that fifth wave up there which if that's the third wave, then wave one here will be equal to wave five, roughly speaking, depending on uh, a few things, but uh, just gives us a general idea. But we could get quite close to the 300 at that point. So we'll just uh, work this a little bit, scraping some off here and putting it back in over here for that at the right time. Uh, so that's that. Uh, and Tesla is humming along quite nicely. So we're looking at this in more of a bearish pattern here. So one, two, three, four, five here, then the A wave, the B wave and the C wave here. We want it to come up into the box uh, here. It has tapped onto the 50% uh, in both cases uh, here, um, but it looks like it can still move up a little bit higher. So let's go in and have a look at that. There is a possibility of wave four being here as well. Uh, but I can't really do anything about that until we sort of, unless we've moved way up here further. But it is kind of looking a bit bullish, I have to say. Um, tick chart. So the only thing with the bullish thing, as I've mentioned before, is that this move up here for the A wave is quite clearly in three waves here for this copy that there so an, so an A and a B and a C wave for the A wave so it makes because this is corrective it really makes the rest of it corrective um, so we've got a nice ABC here uh, and if this was wave two here it's rather uh, big 
compared to getting a wave one out of here. If we had to get a wave one out of here, we'd have to take that top there and look at this as an A and a B and a C wave here, then one, two, three, four, five here for that being wave one here, then the A, the B, and the C wave. It shapes up a little bit better like that. It's a long shot, but um, that's about the best I can do on that side of it. So I've been a little bit unsure about this move up through here. When I look at uh, companies like uh, Square that we looked at, um, it had, well, we'll have a look at that again, because with Square here, see that move coming down here, it made it really quite nice as one and two and three and four, and this is where the gap occurred, and this is where the gap occurred here. So this makes a nice one and two here. So that's what I was thinking about this. This all could be wave one here and two here. It's either that or it's wave four here, and then we're looking for five little waves up here for that. So I'd have to look at this as one and two and three and four here, but it's really big wave four compared to this one over here, isn't it? So something's not quite right here with this, um, but as we counted yesterday, if we took it at the top there, we can look at this an A and a B and then one and two and three and four and five here that we're working on. And then we had the stop way just under here for that. And I've just lifted it up a little bit out of the way uh, because it's, it's popped up here for this. Um, so that's all really positive in that regard. So we can also look at this as uh, a bit of a wave one and two to the upside here for this. Um, I don't know if we should go to this degree of structure or not, but we'll just use it for the time being. So we should see this push up here. So we could go three, four and five up here, taking us up into that um, higher space at that point. But I still don't know. It still doesn't tell me if I'm bullish or not. That's the problem, okay? But um, at least it's taking us... That could be a third wave up there, but we still have to really stay with this... Track this five waves here and stay with the C of B at this stage here. So we'll have to lock in some profits. If we can count a nice five waves here, then we'll, we'll lock that in. Uh, well, well, we'll bring the stop up anyway. We'll see how we go. I'll think about it. Um, but we've got some positions in here. They're all covering costs now. Um, there's still more potential here that we'll grab. Um, just saying that we need to be careful at uh, the 765 uh, area here for that. Uh, and that's that. Okay, so um, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.